Welcome to 40 Glen Road in Winchester, Massachusetts. We're out in front of our house right now. We have a very unique location here. In uh, just under a mile, you can be in the town center, make it to the commuter rail train into Boston, and about a third of a mile, the other direction is the Ambrose Elementary School. Of course, the schools are one of the big things that Winchester is known for. Let's go inside the house. Well, starting off, we have our wraparound porch here. It's a great view out onto the green that divides up Glen and Glen Green roads. A neighborhood of about 25 houses. Come on inside. Into the uh, open hallway here, we have the dining room and the living room coming off up the front of the house. Uh, here's our living room, which we have custom built-ins at the front of the living room for great storage space, of course, stereo, TV, uh, games, books, uh, again, all custom built in with the window seat here. In the uh, rest of the living room, which runs front to back for the uh, original house, which is approximately 100 years old, we've got the fireplace and mantel, as well as some very unique hardwood floors with inlays. Leading back here to additional space in the living room and a large window seat and bay window looking out onto our backyard. Right. Let's head over to the dining room, which, as you can see, is, is a good size. We currently have a table that's seven and a half feet long in here, and we can add an additional sleeve when we have a, a large get-together, a special occasion. It still leaves uh, room for seating 10 or 12 at the table. We have a large window seat over here as well, looking out on the front of the house and again over across the street at the green. We've done a, a number of decorations in here in, at the window seat and the windows uh, updating the home. The dining room leads right into the kitchen. It's very convenient for uh, cleanup and getting to very quickly. We have uh, the kitchen in the central part of the first floor here, between the family room and the dining room. Our kitchen has custom cabinetry throughout that goes up to the ceiling for additional cabinet space. And the room is, is pretty much totally surrounded by this large amount of cabinet space and pantries for storage. We have uh, replaced the built-in refrigerator in the last year and a half with the GE monogram, uh, which is uh, offers considerable space for refrigerated storage. We have a five-star four-burner range, as well as a, a Bosch dishwasher and disposal in here. Now I'm heading out of the kitchen into the family room, which is very convenient, especially for younger children that have the uh, family room right off the kitchen here. This is the one room in the house that we have wall-to-wall -wall carpet that we added uh, when our children were very young, and we found that to be helpful. The most important thing to point out in this room is the wall of storage in the family room, which works great for our children and the number of games and puzzles that we're able to store in here. Uh, it also has drawers all the way down, so if the kids are doing dress-ups or playing with babies, they can get them all out and they can clean them up as they can reach all of them. Uh, we also um, have great room for uh, TV time in here, video games, uh, so quite a large amount of storage to allow for any kind of activity for children. Heading off of the family room, we get back to the hallway, our back door, and then our first floor full bath. On the first floor, we have a full bath, which is unique to a, a home of this time period. And now we can head upstairs and see the bedrooms. On our second floor, we have three bedrooms, including the master, a full bath, and an additional room that can either be an office or a den. The home was originally built in 1910, but the back part of the house is an addition that was done 19 years ago, including uh, the family room on the first floor 
and a bedroom in the office or den on the second floor. We're now entering the den, which can also be used as an office. For some years living here, we use this as an office, but recently have changed it around to make it a den, which the children really enjoy uh, sitting in here, watching a movie. It gets great sunlight throughout the year with the southern exposure. And again, built-in cabinet space uh, throughout with the cathedral ceiling in here that uh, makes it a very spacious, warm room. It has hardwood floors uh, throughout, as all the other rooms do, uh, except the family room, which I mentioned is wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. And now we're heading into one of the bedrooms, one of the children's bedrooms, that again is part of the addition that was done 19 years ago, adding the den, the family room downstairs, and this bedroom. Uh, we have bunk beds in here for two children that want to share the same room, still allows space for the dresser, a great view of the backyard, and again, the hardwood floors uh, throughout. It has, um, I haven't mentioned yet that the, whole, the first and second floor have uh, central air, so we do have the southern exposure, the nice sunlight to warm up in the winter, and then central air uh, to offset any uh, warmth in the summertime from that. Now we're at our second floor landing which leads to two additional bedrooms on the second floor. First, we have one of the kids' bedrooms here, again off the front of the house, that has um, um, window, two-sided windows, a closet, and is right across the hall from the master be bedroom. Coming out again onto the landing, uh, to the right we have a, a little nook that is a great spot for a desk, for a computer, for additional space here. And then we're leading into the master bedroom, which runs again like the living room front to back of the old house for uh, quite a large amount of space, both for the bed and dressers, and then for additional seating area at the back of the house looking out onto our backyard. In this room, we have two different closets at each end of the bedroom for a considerable closet space. Now we're going to go up to the third floor, where there's two additional bedrooms and another full bath. We're on the third floor now, where we have one bedroom here that we're currently using as a kid's playroom for additional space. All of the rooms on the third floor have uh, great skylights for lighting up here. And this room has a large closet, which has additional storage behind it. And it leads to another full bath with a clawfoot tub, again, a skylighted room on the third floor here. And this space works very well for two different children or as a guest bedroom up here as, as anybody has their own bathroom on their own floor, on the third floor. So heading over to the other bedroom on the third floor, first of all, we have the third floor landing, which offers additional space for a desk or dresser here on the third floor. And then in the other larger third floor bedroom, we again have a skylight that offers considerable light to the room, windows out the front of the house onto the green, a large oversized closet, which allows for additional storage space up here. Again, working very well for either two children or for a guest, offering the two bedrooms and a full bath. We're back down on the first floor in the family room, which is right off the kitchen at the back of the house, and heading out to the mud room that we have leading to the back door. So great storage space for backpacks, shoes, towels, for kids or whoever coming into the house, and then leading out to our large deck off the back of the house. We're out on the deck now in our very private backyard. It's uh, surrounded by large maple trees and arborvitaes that offer great privacy to this backyard. Uh, the deck is very large, great for barbecues, uh, having drinks out here, again, right off the family room, so it serves well for having children inside or outside in the fenced-in yard. It's a landscaped yard with uh, beautiful uh, flowers throughout. We have um, uh, a, a garage off of the back of the yard that's detached, that's oversized, that also has uh, heating in it and additional workman space, so you can park a car in it for storage and have additional workspace in there as well. 
Again, as you saw inside, the inside of the home is very good for entertaining in the living room and the dining room especially. And this back deck with the fenced-in yard and the landscape yard are extremely uh, attractive for uh, a morning coffee and newspaper or for entertaining a large group out here and having the space for children to run around and play and have the seating space on the deck for adults. Thank you very much for taking a tour of Forty Glen Road. Thank you.